guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're a new viewer, hit the notification bell so you stay up to date on my latest content. With that out of the way, let's get started to this really cool unboxing. So this is going to be one of the most interesting um, unboxings that I've done. And the reason I say that is because the story and inspiration behind the design of these specific sneakers. Um, first off, let me tell you a little bit about the box here. So as you can tell from this box, we have a like matte black finish to it. Um, and it has that cardboard texture to it, nothing fancy, and it has Concepts there. Concepts is a sneaker retail store up in Boston. I believe there are multiple locations um, throughout the U.S. now, um, based on the research I did, but um, Boston is where it originated at. So this is a collaboration between Concepts, and as you can tell from this title, Adidas. So that's really nice. On this side, it's pretty much plain. On this side as well, and then on this side, we have the same thing. On the bottom, nothing fancy. And then right here on this side of the box, we have a little bit of the labeling and it says Concepts Adidas EQT support and then the official colorway is black slash white silver. And then as you can tell they circled there nine and a half for this is a size nine and a half review. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So this box comes in like a two piece type thing where you open up the box. And you, you're hit with this. This is what it came from StockX because I did order from StockX. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to show you the other side because it has my personal information. But this is how it should come. And then you have a StockX sticker here. And then you have a StockX authentication card. Where it says that you know it was verified to be a legit sneaker. And then it's signed there. Um, and... <clears throat> Inside the box, there's nothing else. It's just like a pitch black box. So I'm gonna put that away here in just a second. Yeah, just put that on the side. But anyways, guys, on top of this box, you see the Adidas three stripes with this green colorway, and then the back is like a darker gray, and then more of that dark gray here, and then some Adidas branding there with the three stripes in green and the Adidas in black more of that dark gray there and then this side has like the Adidas sizing chart and today we are doing the review on the Concepts times Adidas Ultra Boost EQT support 9316 um, and this is in that size nine and a half so a little bit on these shoes as you can tell from the title some of you guys will already know what the shoe is and from the thumbnail but on um, these shoes, there is a rumored only a thousand um, released worldwide. I'm not sure if that's true, and if so, that's very, very um, a cheap price that I got them for. I got them for below retail. Retail was 170. These dropped back on September 3rd or 9th, I think, of 2016, with a wider release on September 10th. Um, so that's just a little bit interesting to me that if there are supposedly a rumor a thousand pairs only released worldwide um, of this specific sneaker. Um, then the price should have been higher, but the price is very cheap and um, I was able to get these for around like 130 um, below retail retail was 170 as I previously mentioned and also This sneaker happened to be inspired by one of the most popular scenes on the movie called or movie film called the uh, Goodfellas if you guys are familiar with that it's a movie and uh, <clears throat> It's it's the highest It's called the the Lufthansa heist um, at JFK Airport, if you're familiar with that, back, I can't even remember the year, but it was way back in the days. And uh, pretty much, all in all, there was like five million dollars worth of stuff that was stolen, <clears throat> that was stolen from the JFK Airport. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. And that investigation itself lasted over the course of 35 years, one of the longest in U.S. history, um, one of the longest investigations um, in U.S. history. So that's just a little bit of. Um, Kind of background on these shoes because these shoes were inspired by that um, heist the Lufthansa heist and um, so yeah just a little bit of background on that there is another pair that came out with this pair and um, they're calling that the sage colorway and that pair was inspired by an art gallery heist that happened in New York City um, I think in New York or in Boston and so it's just kind of interesting to me that both pairs were inspired by you know a uh, a crime pretty much a very historic crime but um, when you open up the box guys you can tell it has just a regular cardboard box there and then the branding paper kind of looks and reminds me of the stock X logo as you can tell right here it literally looks similar in color 
So as you can tell, we have some of that thin Adidas paper with the Adidas wrapping. And it says Adidas brand. And it says equipment there in green and in black. And then finally, we have the Adidas Times Concept Ultra Boost EQT 9316. And that black, white colorway, silver colorway, whatever you want to call it. Very nice. Looks really nice. Material usage is really, really nice. Um, overall, these shoes are really nice. Um, and I was actually going to keep these sneakers, but I will tell you at the end, so stay tuned to the end, why I decided to sell these. Um, like I said in the past videos, I am kind of nitpicky on quality. There wasn't nothing really wrong with the quality on these. I was pretty much amazed by the quality. Here's the other sneaker. Really nice, really nice quality. I like it a lot. Let's try to get a thumbnail really quick for the good times. So anyways, like I said, these are the Concept Times Adidas Ultra Boost uh, EQT support 9316 uh, in the black and white colorway. There was another colorway in like a sage um, pinkish colorway, but this one was the most popular and the most sought after. So uh, these did retail for $190, released back in September of September 9th of 2016. And uh, there was a rumored only a thousand pairs made. Um, so yeah, one of the first things you guys notice here towards the toe, the toe box, this is actually 3M netting material, which is really nice. This right here on the toe box is 3M material. When the light hits it, it looks really, really dope, really nice. Um, and then right here around the toe box overlay we're hit with this black suede it, it isn't premium suede, but it's really nice suede It's better than some of the Jordan suede that we see not knocking on anybody just trying to use a, something as a comparison um, the concepts um, <clears throat> Lace here this lace emblem here is says concepts and it's kind of like see-through It's kind of clear you see it right there on as you look vertically down. It, it's kind of like clear uh, and it is plastic material, it's not glass. Some people were saying it was glass online. This is not glass, this is plastic. Um, some more of that um, overlay there and, su and suede, black suede there looks really nice. Um, you can see it change as I brush my fingers through it. And then right here you have these nylon straps here um, that are eventually used as, you know, lace straps here. And they're in black as well. Looks really nice. And it's soft here, some more of that nylon underneath. Very soft and it's... I assume they use some kind of foam to use as cushion and then some more of that suede here as well and right here we actually have a little bit of leather which is really nice and just different in change so that's really nice the laces are just your regular flat black laces nothing fancy with the aglets um, and then here the tongue is some more of that nylon material and as you can tell on these the tongue is split so it opens up on the left side so you can slide your shoe in kind of like a burrito wrap so that's really nice and then it has a concept right here tag and then it has a rivet holding it in place um, underneath it has the consortium the Adidas consortium branding there and then the inner liner guys is kind of like I don't know how to describe it's like a corduroy uh, fabric type of material I don't know how to describe it and it's all black and the tongue says concept. Let me try to pull this paper out here. See, it says concepts in white, and then the rest of the tongue is black on the background. So that's really nice. I like how they kept it a simple black and white. And then we see some more of that suede here in black. And then you see this heel cup here in black. It's not really leather. A lot of people are saying this is leather, but this is more like plastic material. And then right here, you guys. This is one of my favorite parts of the shoe because after doing research it made sense to me. So right here where you see this black suede towards the heel. This right here, this branding, the reason they did different colors like a multi-color Adidas branding there is because it was not a little bit to add a flavor from the airports back in the 70s guys. Especially uh, JFK Airport. A lot of the color layout was multi-color layout. So it wasn't a specific color like, you know, a boring black and white type color furniture. It actually had like multi-color layout and it's inspired by JFK Airport. So just in case um, you weren't aware of that. So hit that like button because this is probably the most informative review on this specific shoe. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I was trying to find out if, you know, a lot of people went in debt with it, but they didn't. So hit that like button because I try to give you the most informative reviews. And, uh... 
So right here, guys, we have some more of that 3M right here. There's a little lining around here. It's 3M, which is really nice. I w it would have been nice without it, but with it, it's even it's like a bonus. It's like the cherry on top. And then on this side, we have almost like the reverse of this. It's pretty much all white with a little bit of the black in between. So you, we have this white cage here, which is really nice. Hint, it's plastic cage. We have the stock X verified tag there, just in case you're wondering. <clears throat> and then we have these straps here that are from nylon material and white. And even the plastic up here is in white. Just the leather is black still. And then in between you have some of that nylon backed up by some foam material in, on the inside. And then right here, you have this really nice um, all white, sort of like, I don't even know what kind of material this is, but I don't know, it, it's very, it's very sticky. A lot, of, I feel like lint would stick to it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, I don't know, it's like almost plastic, really. But this is one of the reasons, so remember I mentioned I decided to sell these after wanting to keep them. One of the reasons I decided to sell these is because when you slip your shoe on, this seems like it creases in so it makes it seem like as if someone had worn them before you even bought them like if you look at it closely it has like a little crease right here and the reason it's is like that is because of this material usage right here it kind of shrinks in so I don't, that's one of the dislikes that i had on the shoe um, but other than that it's a really cool shoe the midsole is your regular all white boost midsole that we all love the boost on these is amazing even a year later um, right here guys we have the all black continental outsole you see right there the continental brand and then you have the torsion system in green and then some of the outside some torsion systems in that chrome really really nice it gives it a different um, you know pop to it I really like the chrome finish to it and uh, that's pretty much it for this shoe let me show you guys the other one as you can see it came with two extra laces it came with these white ones that have the concepts there and then it's uh, like a grayish silverish background and then it came with these laces that are gray and a little bit of white in between really really nice i feel like um the gray ones would look nice because of the 3m material and on this one you see with the rivet is being held down the adidas branding and on the back is pretty much the same thing consortium and then together the insoles form the words concepts so oh sorry guys Technical issues now I'm playing so as you can see right there on the insole it says concepts it spells it out Really really nice And then um, that's pretty much it guys the insole is very supportive I'm not gonna remove it only because I sold these um, But like I said these these are you are able to find these a little bit cheaper than retail as well I, I believe on eBay there is a rumor only a thousand pairs to be released. I'm not sure if that's true, but then again, I, I rarely see these at stores where I live at. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Let's try and get another thumbnail in case this is the first one failed us. So um, with that being said, hit that like button, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Um, are these a W, are these an L, or are these kind of, you know, so-so, you're not sure. But uh, I tried these on. Um, because I thought I was going to keep them and I tried them on here in the carpet and uh, they were true to size. I will say I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going up half a size so if you like your shoes to be uh, a little bit loose kind of like your Ultra Boost regular fit then I would go up half a size so for example I'm a 9.5 I would have gone up to a 10 only because here around you know where the toe uh, box is and it starts right here it's a little tight it gets tight especially because of this plastic I don't know weird piece right here this white piece it kind of feels really tight so I would go up half a size um, but with that being said hit that like button subscribe hit the notification bell and we will see you guys on the next one peace